This is uh, Gino from Kadar's Kitchen again. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. So today we're making shrimp de Jean. Uh, this is out of an old Hungarian cookbook I had, one of our favorites. So to start, I'm going to get our vegetables in the water. We have garlic, celery, a little bit of sage, onion, Maybe a touch of salt. We're going to bring this to a boil. And after it comes to a boil, we're going to put the shrimp in. We have uh, peeled shrimp. This is uh, 16 to 20 size shrimp. So, I'll get this going. I forgot to mention that I added a couple of bay leaves to this too. So now we're going to turn off the heat. And we're going to gently put the shrimp in there. And we are going to add a little bit of lemon on top. The lemon goes on top, of course. And we're just going to let those sit just for a little bit. As you see, they're turning pink and they're starting to curl a little bit. And now we're going to drain it. All right, I have some breadcrumbs that I did from scratch. Pull some a little bit. Get them as fine as you want. You don't want them getting too fine. Put those in a bowl. All right, we're going to prepare our dishes first. I've had these in the freezer for a good hour. Um, these are some boats that you found for banana splits, but it works actually pretty good for our shrimp de jean. So I'm gonna butter the bottom. And because it's frozen, you see that the butter sticking to the sides a little bit better that way. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the shrimp and the leftover butter is gonna go into my topping. So we put the shrimp in here. We try to interlock them a little bit like this. You can see that. Put a bunch in there and then we'll start interlocking. The original recipe calls for two pounds, but we're, I'm just using one pound. This will be enough for two good size servings. All right, you see we have the shrimp in here. I try to keep it at one layer. And now I'm gonna add oh, about a half a cup of uh, white wine, like a Chardonnay or a Pinot Grigio, whatever you have available. And then I'm gonna put some black pepper over that. Freshly ground, preferably. And now I'm going to continue with the breadcrumbs. I'm going to put two cloves of garlic here. All right, now I'm going to add some Italian parsley. Some sweet basil. Give this a good stir. The recipe calls for salt, but if, if you want to, you could add a little bit of salt. I prefer not. All that in there. And then I'm going to add the uh, butter now that is left over from one stick that I melted. Give that a good toss. breadcrumbs get some of that butter and the garlic make sure that it mix as well and now we're gonna spoon that over our shrimp carefully have 
your oven preheated to about 350 to 375. I think the recipe calls for 375. And we're going to cook these for about 15 minutes. We don't want to want to make sure we don't overcook the shrimp. But what we want to see is cooking little tiny bubbles. It will bubble around the outside. We'll see that while it's cooking in the oven. All right, we have the oven heated to about 350. Put this in here. Put the timer for about 15 minutes. We're gonna check it. It's been about 15, 17 minutes. Let's see how they look. Action as a quarter. That's okay. 